got some music like something's gonna come out for us, but so far, nothing seems to be uh, trying to attack us. I think the music may have just glitched there, that's all. And here we have a nice little crate with another flare gun. So I suppose we could have used um, a flare against those guys if we really wanted to. But when I saw there was only two, it really didn't seem like it was uh, a necessity. Okay. A hefty meal to get through the day. Sure. Why not? We'll give you a hefty meal of lead. Just come out of the shadows and uh, we'll remove the rest of the shadows from you. It'll be fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got three of them coming. I think I'm going to pull this out. Um, let's wait till they're together, though. And now. Nice. That worked out pretty well. Check out what we got going here. Wake lies to the sheriff. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. And she wouldn't help me find Alice. Huh. Interesting. Whoops. Forgot to hit F5 there. Whatever. Not a big deal, so we can't really get in here yet. Nice. Shotgun. I might go ahead and use this for the moment since we've got uh, 12 rounds. And it's the old uh, use it or lose it proverb. Go ahead and open this. And that should open that gate out there. Let's check out what's on TV. immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? 
insane! Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. All right, so basically a uh, a Twilight Zone knockoff, the Night Springs show. I like it. I'm a fan of uh, Twilight Zone. I haven't watched it in a long time, but I enjoy the show. Turn that thing off, because that is uh, an annoying noise. But it sounds like um, this is a shadowy area. You can kind of tell by the uh, the different sound and then stuff moving through the sky if there's going to be things coming after you. But not only that, they seem to be preparing us because there is a large box of ammo here. Does it now? That does not look safe at all. Try to avoid that. Nope, oh, looks like we got Stucky here. And some of his best friends. Do our best to keep these guys back. Got all of them with that. Uh oh. Well, two down. And. You to go. My bad there. <laughs> Let him get a little bit too close. Try and keep these guys at a greater distance. Whoa. Someone's moving fast. Whoa, watch out. That was close. Hey, I got a flare gun for you, buddy. I bet you'll like it. <laughs> Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. All right, well, we're okay. Stucky is not all that hard if you keep at least uh, one flare with you. Go ahead and reload this thing so that we don't need to reload it should anything come out. But yeah, that flare gun can come in really handy against uh, any um, bosses in this game. So I highly recommend you try to keep the flare gun for that purpose. But sometimes it's, it's just not possible, because there can be a lot of guys that surround you, and you really need to do something about it when that happens. And we got a nice little thermos over here. Take that before we head on down the path. Let's get this open and see what we can do. Looks like we're almost at the gas station now. Almost. Hey, that looks familiar. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, except this one looks more busted up. What the hell happened to it? It's like the, uh, the Silent Hill effect where things are kind of messed up. When you're in the Silent Hill After dark the world. After I just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Stucky's Countryside, or a uh, Country Store and Gas. 
Got uh, Breaker's Farm apples. Pick your own apples. What's going on up here? Washington Motor Oil. So is this supposed to be Washington State? Do they have those kind of cones in uh, Washington State? The ones with the uh, orange and white? I don't know. I mean, I've been to Washington before, but I don't remember those kind of cones. So delight. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Hmm. Does this thing only have diesel? I like this thing. I've got a diesel car, and I can never, uh, I can never find any places that have diesel. It's a pain in the ass. Well, let's check out what this manuscript page is about. Stucky is taken. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling, caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. That blows. I see something shiny. Huh. They've got unlet it only here. And I saw diesel at that pump. What gives? That doesn't make any sense. Is there any other pump somewhere? I don't see any. I just see the diesel. Hmm. That's odd. Alright, so if we run down this way, we'll be going into darkness, but there is uh, something down this way worth getting. So we'll uh, we'll dash down here as fast as we possibly can, and probably have some people following us. This place is nice and blocked off, but we can grab this. Oh hi! No thanks. Ow! No! Get it away! I don't like you. Fuck off. All right, we picked that up? Okay. I think we are good to go now. Let's rush it and hopefully get past all these guys. Whoops. Oh no, we're not moving fast enough. Stay back, you bastards. We shouldn't need to uh, waste any ammo since we're basically at the gas station. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Those guys do not want to come near this gas station for whatever reason. It doesn't seem seriously lighted around here, but apparently it's enough. Puma racing oil. Batteries, tough tires, and soda light. Looks like some good stuff in there. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Hmm. I'm guessing that there was uh, the fight um, with Stucky. There is a knocked over oil can, but I don't see oil spread across the floor. Oh wait, there we go. So this is uh, this is the location where Stucky got taken, right here. Interesting. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV. Talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? <laughs> no, but you're apparently writing it, because we uh, heard about that earlier. So we've actually got all the uh, pages from episode one here, I believe, except for the nightmare pages. Um, I do not know if I will come back and play this on nightmare or not. Maybe. Maybe not. 
He, uh, he was talking about that Nordic walking. Incontestably proven health benefits. Dude saying welcome. Auto finish. Flexico. A lot of racing stuff. And we have a sign here for Deerfest. The 68th Annual Deerfest, September 15th to 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, a pie contest, and surprise competitions, live music for the children, Bucktooth Charlie Afternoons, and Montgomery the Mystic's Amazing Phantasmagoria Evenings. Phantasmagoria was an interesting game. Anyway, um, don't miss the legendary Deerfest Parade. Got some lotto tickets up there. And some, uh, why not try our gas super saver puzzle seas? I don't even think they have unleaded here. I don't know what's up with that. It's weird. Ooh. Fireworks. Got some candies. And a nice little phone. Maybe we can uh, call for help here. Right ball, Sheriff Station. <laughs> Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me, and then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Make some really goofy faces. A candy colored clown they call the Sandman tiptoes to my room every night, and just to sprinkle stardust and to whisper, Go to sleep, everything is all right. So you can either sit around and listen to this song, or you can just skip it and we can move on. And I think we're going to skip it. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. All right, so next time we'll explore this uh, little house here that we have and uh, put some coffee on, I guess. Bye for now, everyone.